On all of our pools, uh, we install a designated 100 amp or greater panel. Um, we've got our circuit breakers in here for each component. Um, heater, we've got our pump, our GFI and lights, and then this particular installation has an automatic cover, and that circuit breaker is here. We also have a GFI outlet on the side of the, of the panel as well. We have a timer. This can control the pump if you don't want to run it 24 hours a day. This is how you control the, the, uh, the pump turning on and off. And then we've got two circuits here that control uh, the lights for the pool on circuit one. And circuit two is a provision. If you want to add, say, landscape lighting, you could also control the landscape lighting through this system and through your remote control that, that connects to this. Um, let's start with the, uh, the timer. The timer has three uh, positions here on it, on this little switch. The up position is pump on, no matter what the timer is set for. The middle position is to run based on the timer. And then the bottom position has a zero, which means off, regardless of the timer settings. So if we move our switch to the middle, our pump is gonna follow the schedule. And right now it's just about noon current time is here, any of these tabs that are pushed out is in an on position. Any tab that's pushed in is an off position. So in this case, we have from 6 a.m. to 1800, 6 p.m., we have our pump running and then off from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's really the most efficient time to run the pool is during the day. Uh, not necessarily because people are swimming, uh, but maybe the water features are a, a concern. If you have a heat pump on your system, the heat pump runs and is the most efficient during the warmest times of the day. And so heating the pool from say nine in the morning, six to nine in the morning until afternoon, whenever the, 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 the hottest parts of the day are, um, is gonna give you the best heat for the most economical uh, electric bill. The circuit one is our light and it has three positions. On is lights on, off is off, and remote uh, means that the handheld remote that came with your, your, uh, your equipment is uh, going to be in charge and controlling those lights. The lights have different color modes that can be controlled simply by power cycling within one second. So we go from the off position to on, and if I toggle one, two, we've gone to the next mode on the lights. There is a slight delay, but they will turn on within a couple seconds and be operating in that, that next color mode, whatever the, whatever the sequence may be. Um, one of the gotchas within the system is the pump. Um, you have a circuit breaker for the pump, but because the timer and there's a relay system behind this panel also have to be engaged for the pump to run. This circuit breaker that controls the GFI and the lights also has to be on for the pump to operate. So if your pump isn't working, um, have a look and make sure that your pump breaker is on, make sure that your GFI timer and lights breaker is on, and also make sure that you have your GFI reset button in your plug reset. All three have to be on and, and working properly for the pump to run.